everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope the lighting's okay because I've cheated today and I haven't got my proper lights on because this is going to be a short video, or fingers crossed it will be. Um, I've got a small haul for you, just a few little bits and pieces that um, I've collected together. Sorry, I'm not comfortable, I'm in pain, <laughs> as usual. Um, so, I went out for a little, little while with my hubby today and we popped into Pound Stretcher and I've noticed that they've got um, a lot of makeup in there um, all for a pound each item and I've been looking at these Kate Rimmel um, liners in, uh, in my local boots um, and I can't think off the top of my head how much how much they were, but I know they were, I'm not level, my little square in my camera is oops, telling me I'm not level, no I'm really not level, no. <laughs> oh well, that's somewhere about, um, and I was so pleased that I, I didn't buy them, because um, I was looking at this uh, emerald green one in, in boots, um, and uh, they were quite expensive. Um, I want to say they were more than five pounds, and I got each one of these for a pound each. Now this is the emerald one, and it's um, the the other one isn't Kate, but this one is. Um, it's waterproof gel eyeliner up to twenty four hours wear. Um, and this is one in in zero zero five emerald it's a special edition with brush um, and it says if I can read this up to 24 hours of rich intense color that doesn't flake smudge smear or run um, professional brush for complete control to draw the lines you want it says use the precision brush applicator to easily dry easily draw thin or thick lines from inner to outer corners in just one stroke after each use close tap, tap <laughs> close sorry close close cap tightly and wipe brush clean with dry tissue dermatologically tested suited for contact lens wearers and sensitive eyes so i was open it from, you're supposed to open it from the top but I never do, I open from the bottom and then it's much easier so, oh, excuse me I've got to blow my nose, sorry about this oh I do apologise um, so you get this brush which let me zoom you in a little bit, which doesn't look too bad actually. Looks quite quite a good brush. Um, if you can see, it's a little bit stiff, um, but yeah, it's like that. And then you get a little pot. This this is the one obviously with Kate on. And. On the back it says 005 Emerald Gel Liner, made in China. Um, net amount is 2.4 grams. If you can read that. There's an awful lot of other writing on there as well. I'll try and hold it still so you can read it. And then you get... I had my finger in there to see what colour it is, so I haven't bought one that somebody else has had their finger in. Um, so I wanted to see what sort of colour colour it was. Um, I did it naughtily um, when I was in the shop, but I did buy the one that I had tested. So that's the green. It's quite a pretty green. Um, it's not the emerald green that I would imagine emerald green being really 
Oops, a tissue. Um, I would, I visioned emerald green as being um, a lot brighter than that, but it's a nice green. I'm pleased it's not bright actually. I can work with this much better than I would a brighter colour. So that is the emerald one with the Kate on the front. And then I have 003 purple slash violet. And and then it says the same on the back of that one, so I'm not going to read it again. I'll hold it, try and hold it still for you to read. There you go. And we'll have this one out. Same way, if I can get it undone. I was just going to say there for a minute, I hadn't got a here. Um, liner pot. So you've got the same brush. This one has a crown on the top, so it's not it's not the Kate. Not the Kate one. And then on the back it says 003 purple. And the same same amount of weight that you've got in the other one. And this one I didn't try, I just bought this one um, just hoping that it was going to be a nice purple because I like purples. And um, oh, this one's darker too. Oh, this one really is dark. Um, it's not a purple I would imagine again. Um, but I am pleased that it's not bright. Um, I can work, this is the purple one, I can work with this as well. I wonder if you can use it as an eye base. Oh, you could look. As long as you rub them out. I mean, that one, that one you can't rub now. That Oh, look at that, that is solid. That's not going to go anywhere. So you could use it as a, a base for an eyeshadow as long as you worked quickly. Um, You'd have to. Oh, sorry, got it here. I'm sorry. Um, you would have to um, do one eye at a time um, because that is no, that is done now. It's just about. It's not going to rub anymore. There you go. That's set. Um, you'd have to do one eye at a time if you're going to use it as an eye base. It would no be good. Put no be good. It would no good be putting it on both eyes rubbing one out to where you want it on your eye base and then going to the other one because you would find that was set and um, so yeah I think that's gonna that would make a great high eye, eye base um, like you use your MAC paint pots or your um, or your or your oh for goodness sake Caroline Or your colour tattoo shadows. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Oh, that would be. That's going to be great. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. This is a great colour for um, autumn, winter. Yes, lovely. So that's those two, and those were pound. I think I told you those were a pound each from pound stretchers. Gosh, I've got a wet wipe and I'm trying to get these off. They're taking some rubbing to get off. You'd have to use um, an eye makeup remover, which is the one that I use, the Rimmel cream one. And that works great at removing stuff like that. All right, so that was Pound Stretcher. Um, the next thing was um, I bought some wax hearts for... If you can see, I've got one going here. The um, burner here. You put the wax in the top here. Um, 
just the wax, you don't put any water or anything like that. And then you light one of the little um, tea lights underneath. And we can zoom in a little bit. Whoops. Let's go down a little bit. No. <laughs> Oops, there you go. If you can see the um, little, um, oh, am I pointing the wrong way? If you can see the little um, tea light in there. Hmm. Right. And so these, I bought those. These were come from eBay, so I'm looking down to see what price they were. Um, and you've got 55 of these little wax hearts. I'll get them out so you can have a closer look in a minute. And that was £2.70. And all you need in a burner this size is um, either two or three of these hearts. Tiny little things. Um, so they, they're like that. And then th that's the thickness they are. Uh, yeah, two or three. And they smell absolutely gorgeous. These are spice flavours. Scent. No, scents, isn't it? Yeah. These are spice scents. So you've got um, one, two, three, four, five. Five different... Um, spice scents in there um, and they're they are Amu, uh, um, Am Am Amalur candle melts that's it actually they say add one or two melts to a burner enjoy light and enjoy um, this is a big burner so I did put two in there or was it three no I put three in that one because I felt two wasn't enough wax. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you've got a shallow burner, um, one or two of these would be sufficient. Um, if you're interested, I'll put the um, I'll put the um, eBay address um, in the down bar. So yeah. I was very, very impressed with these. Um, there's all sorts of, there's, um, apart from the seller that I bought from, um, there are other sellers as well. Um, and they have all sorts of um, scents, coffee, strawberry, anything you can think of. Um, and I thought the spice ones would be rather nice. I'm going to try the coffee one next. Um, but I do you warn you, they are strong. Um, so, um, you know, if you sort of have, if you have problems with, um, you know, scents being too strong, um, make sure you've got a shallow burner um, so you're not putting too much wax in. Um, I'm impressed with them. They are really, really good. For £2.70, um, you can't go wrong. So what else do we get? Um, after seeing this W7, the Cheeky Trio, um, bronzer, blusher and highlighter on Chucky Kaz channel, Karen, um, I was quite impressed with it um, when she showed it. Um, so I had to get, get it ordered. Um, I don't know if I paid um, more than I should have because I did get it on eBay and I paid £5.15. Um, no no, no um, packaging and no posting charges. That was just £5.15 for, for the, um, you know, the tin with the, the trio in. So I'm not sure um, what price it should have been. Oh, I'll show you the back of the tin. Um, in the shops, if you'd buy it in the shops, that's what the back of the tin looks like. Um, so you get the contour, which is called Dream Machine. 
you get the blusher which is called Fifth Avenue and then you get the highlighter which is called Hot Stuff and oh I can't get done now inside you get a plastic cover which is loose so this is the this is the um, bronzer I haven't worn that today because I already had bronzer on when it arrived in the post and that is the bronze mm. let me show you on the other hand that's the bronzer it is quite a light bronzer um, which is quite good for pale skins and that what was that called again that was called Dream Machine. The, the um, blusher is called Fifth Avenue and I am wearing that today and I'll show you in a moment. That's the blusher. It's a nice sort of pinky, peachy colour. Um, I would say it's edging more on the pink side. And then you've got the hot stuff highlighter and I'm wearing that today as well just a little bit because I didn't know how sort of highlighter it was I don't think it's that strong actually um, you see it on there a little bit and I'm quite pleased with it I really really like the blush um, as for that I don't know uh, the bronzer because I say I haven't I haven't tried it um, and I've tried, I'm wearing the um, highlight as well. So I'll pop my glasses off and zoom you in. Whoops, too far. Oops, up a little bit. So there you go. That's the blush, and you can see the, the highlight on top of my cheeks, I highlighted the, the centre of my nose. Um, I did do my Cupid's bow, but that has um, worn away. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with blush. I think I might have gone a little bit, on camera it looks a little bit bright, but in person um, it looks very, very natural. Um, so yeah I'm pleased with this I don't know if it's as a scent actually it has a, as it has a light um, a light sweet perfumey smell um, but it's not overpowering um, so that you know that's not no it's not overpowering at all it's a, it's a sweet yeah, it's a sweet smell. So that was that. And I say I paid £5.15 from eBay. Because um, I didn't know when I'd go to a shop that would sell W7. So I sort of grabbed it on there. And then um, from China, I ordered three pairs of sil silver earrings. Now... They came in little green boxes like this inside of a um, jiffy bag. So this is the first pair. And they are so, so pretty. So you've got two half moons. Is that half moon? You get one, these are loose. Like that, they're loose. So you get one that is textured, it's got a texture on there, and then you get one that is um, shiny, and then when you turn them round, on the shiny side, it is textured on, on the other side, and then on the, obviously the textured side on the, the back of this one is shiny. So you get a double side, which I think for the price, it is quite amazing because the, these were only £1.29 and they are silver. They are stamped with a silver mark. 
Uh, that's those. And then the next pair, another green box, are these. And I'm quite impressed with those. They're really, really nice. Let me show you with them. Show you with them on because I don't have anything in the bottom lower of my ear. There you go. Let me zoom you in a little. There you go. I thought it looked really, really pretty on. So let's start one. These are a little bit longer. Let me zoom you out. Or I'll put you down a little bit. And zoom you back in a little bit. Oh, too much. And then you can see. There you go. Very pretty. And then the third pair, again in a little green box. They come really nicely packaged. Are those? And there you go. Really impressed. I thought they were really nice. I mean, I have to say, that my favourites are these half moons and I have worn these more than I have worn these. Uh, so the half moons were 129. Um, these were only 99 pence, believe it or not. And these that I'm wearing were £1.69. So I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased. Um, and that is um, my um, little haul for you. Um, I'll just tell you the lipstick I have on is from Milane and it is called a Power Lip and it says Lasting and Moisturising Lip Gloss Stain and it is in 01 Red Control. And you take the top off and it has a brush and you hold the ends very very carefully and turn no actually you hold it there and turn the bottom and the lipstick comes out of the top um, the brush wasn't very very good um, at brushing it on and making it very even so I used um, this is a Jessup brush, there's no number on it, it just says Jessup and it's just like a large um, lip brush so I use this to, to smooth out and shape you know put the shape back into my lip and smooth it out um, and the two together work really really well so there you go, that is the end of uh, my little haul, I um, hope you've enjoyed it um, and I'll see you again soon, bye for now.